This is a poem before a poem, sometimes a telling dawn. The poem to come says I'm dead. Don't worry, I haven't gone. But whoever I was when I wrote it, self-evidently has gone on. Isn't that ever and always the case? Every moment runs a race. Race is against what it used to face, to erase itself in silent space. When I die, please pass this round. For reasons I'd no clue why I'd been chosen to make sure that they'd be followed yesterday by those in charge, whoever they were, I was told that I was to decide and oversee what should be done to help three single parents who'd appeared with his or her small child, obviously human, but from three quite different species of our ilk. One drank only milk from mice. Another nipped and suckled bumps on cucumbers. The third clucked with her tongue a rhythmic tat, tat, tat which summoned little yellow fat birds, one by one, to drop a little liquid in each mouth, which evidently nourished the recipient. These children were at home among the trees, which harbored all their flying sources of what kept them happily alive. But what was my part in all this? I could add nothing to the scene that would have made it better. Apparently my frank delight in it and them was all they wanted. Then suddenly one of the chubby little yellow birds that carried in their beaks the bits of sustenance I'd seen them drop into the children's mouths was whirring frantically to keep his place close to my face, clearly waiting for me to reveal my tongue, upon which, when I did, he dripped a tiny, faintly spicy blip on it. I felt calm. It was a bomb. I don't know how or why the world goes on, but here and there, we sometimes get a hint. The gentle drip of sustenance began to taste like mint, to which I am allergic. It soon emerged, as it had often done before, though not as wickedly as now. My choking throat closed up, and I collapsed. I've moved into a kind of consciousness, which may mean that I'm dying. I am not in pain. If this is how one leaves one's life, there is no need to worry. No need, in fact, apparently to hurry. But by the time you read this, I more than likely will be gone. Enjoy your restless, gorgeous consciousness. It brings enlightenment and sometimes a telling dawn.